No. No. This is the YouTube if you can't make it. I think. Yeah. So, is that way too many devices? No, I should handle it. Okay. So, I don't. Thanks for coming. We appreciate you being here. We I know it's so well, not well, always going to be good. Pulls um, and make it so. so yes, we are videotaping this. So if some of the members of your team aren't here tonight, encourage them to watch the video. I will send out another email with a link. It takes me a couple of days sometimes to get it to upload. But I'll send another one out. And then they can watch it and they can earn three out of the six points. So, and I don't think up to this point that any team has had everybody there yet. So, I don't know that we'll have a full point team this next time because I've already missed a couple Slack of points. <laughs> so, if you're... Where's our people? I don't want to text them right now. If you've missed some, then you're still going to be in the race really for the lead, right? <laughs> but we've got up our game, so... <laughs> um, so, so basically just want to talk to you a little bit about the healthy habits. Just, just a reminder that it was really, it's really a program that is doing overall wellness. There's a focus on your, your physical activity and your nutrition and the assessments plus the emotional side. Because so much of what we do emotionally and how we handle things relates to our overall health. And so we really focus on that. And hopefully the assessments that you took gave you an idea of where you're at and some areas that you need to work on, some target areas. Did did any of you, were any of you surprised by some of your assessments? Yeah. Good or bad? Bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bad. <laughs> really? Like, Caleb, really you had some too? Yeah. Hmm. Like I have a 70 year old body. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, well, mine was only 67. I know. <laughs> Yeah, and the body age, we're not sure is right, but... You know what, mine only increased one year from last year's. I was a little better in some areas. And a little worse than mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. But it really gives us a starting point. How does it come up with your age? I think you told me that. Um, see, we don't really know. You don't know? Okay. Yeah, so we don't put a lot of credibility into the body. I do. Age. I'm putting a lot of credibility <laughs> into it. He <laughs> was like, I'm going to be 30 when we do it. That's right, right. I am. He's going to be 22. What are you talking about? 22? Okay, <laughs> great goal. Um, we have just over 50 people registered throughout the county, so that's a great group. Um, we tend to lose a few as we go through, but we try to keep as many as we can. And the reason that it goes from January through June is because changing health behaviors takes a long time. And I have people that come back that have done it last year or the year before and they still come back because they're still working on trying to make permanent change. It's a process. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it, right? Right. So, so we don't worry about if it's taking us too long as long as we're making progress. Um, and we have, I think we have 10 teams. We have 10 teams, so it could get a little competitive, who knows. Um, we do use competition between the teams as kind of a motivator, but we also use cooperation within the teams and even within the group to help motivate us because now we kind of all have a support group, right? We're all working on the same things, we're all trying to improve, and we're not in this alone, and so that's a good thing. Um, one of the things that I usually hear is, well, I really want to lose weight, I really want to lose weight which is great, and most of us want to lose weight, um, but this really isn't a weight loss program. That being said, most people that follow these habits will tend to lose weight. If you start to drink your water and then you're physically active and you weren't before, you're probably typically, typically gonna start to lose a little weight. Some of you may have put on weight right at first. If you haven't, been drinking that much water, a lot of times you'll put on two or three pounds of water weight. It comes off and it stables out after a while. And so does all the bathroom runs eventually. They get better, I promise. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it does. Um, if you I go all the time. <laughs> it's not <laughs> water. Water. It's crazy. But it's it, in my office. It, it will stable out. Um, if you are trying to lose weight, one of the most effective weight goals to make, because you want to be realistic, is 10% of your body weight over a six-month time. 
So for example, if you weigh 200 pounds, it's going to take you about six months to lose 20. Mm. You do it any faster than that, and it's hard to maintain, and it's hard to lose healthy more than that. So keep that in mind as far as if, you, if you're looking at that, that weight loss goal. 10% over six months. A um, couple of things that you need to be reminded of, of the four R's. First of all, you need to record your points daily. Okay, if you just sit your paper someplace and you're like at the end of the week and you say, oh, I need to go back and make sure and give myself points. Did I use my cell phone on Tuesday? You're not going to have any idea. Okay, so record them daily. And besides that, if you record daily, you have those habits right in front of you. And it's reminding you that this is what I need to be thinking about. Because I about picked up my phone the other day. Because I was in the car and it rang. And I'm like, oh dear. And so, if you have those and you're recording those points before you go to bed, you're like, oh, I don't know if I read for my 10 minutes. Or have I finished my 30 minutes? And how much more water do I have? So record daily. So the first R is record. The second one is to read your emails. How many of you got an email on Monday? So everybody in this room did. Excellent. How many of you read it? <laughs> oh, some of you. Okay. So on that email, in that email there was a little link that you needed to click on and then respond. I didn't get all of the responses. So if you didn't, go back to your email, click on the link and respond. Thanks, so, record your points, read your emails, and respond to your emails. Those are your first three. And your first test. <laughs> okay? <laughs> record, read, respond. And if you will do those things and you respond on Monday, you get your rebate money. So, there's your fourth R. Record your points, read your emails, respond, and then you get your rebate money back. So the way you get your rebate money back is you have to respond on the Monday that you get the email. It can be by midnight. I'm okay with that. Anytime that Monday. Because then I spend the next day figuring out points and team points. Does that count our first Monday, your first initial? No. Okay. This first one. Because yeah, I was count. thinking that you wanted oh. the points. So like, yeah, this first one didn't count. Okay. okay. So, so and it, it, it usually takes us, us it takes us a week or two to make sure we have everybody's emails correct. Right. Because a lot of them will go to their spam because it's a group email and sometimes they type them in wrong. and So it takes us a while to get it all worked out. So no worries yet. But watch for one next Monday. Okay? So any questions that you have about the program? Pretty self-explanatory. You're on your way. All right, great. So did anybody look at your tracking sheet and notice that next week we have an extra challenge? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the extra challenge for next week? Record your food. Okay, to track our food. So we're going to track our food all of next week. And the reason we only do that one time is because it gets pretty tedious. And if you had to do that all the time, you would probably hate it. But we want to do it. It is a really good motivation, though. Yeah, to not eat something because you don't have exactly. to write it down. It you have to be accountable for it. But it's hard to do it just every single day. It's too hard. But I want you to do it for the week, and the reason we want you to do it for the week is so that you can evaluate what you've been eating and what you're actually putting into your body. This super tracker is one of the best places to track food, and you do not have to do it on super tracker, but I'm suggesting it because it's, it's a USDA government site, and it aligns with the MyPlate recommendations. So we're going to go through this just a little bit, and I'm going to explain that to you. Um, so first of all, here you are on Super Tracker, um, supertracker.usda.gov, super and you can search just Super Tracker, and it should come up. Is there and an app for that? There's not, which <laughs> I feel really bad that there's not there because food tracker apps, but there are a couple of food tracker apps. One of the other better food ones is My Fitness Pal. And I have that one, and I have my um, Fitbit one. Yes, and the Fitbit ones there um, and those are pretty reliable ones so if you'd if you're familiar with that one rather use those that's fine um, if you want to use super tracker you come down here and you create your profile and thank you to Kayla for setting up internet here 
You're going to put your profile name and your age, your information. When you get to here and you're going to talk about your physical activity, it should be at least 30 to 60 minutes a day of moderate activity because we're asking you to exercise. So, so you can choose that. Um, then you just come down here and you create your username and password and, and you submit. So once you get to that, oh, I didn't have to go back. Once you get there, then you're going to come to the top and you're going to log in. And you're going to be able to see all this. So on, on Super Tracker, this Foodopedia. You can type in any food you want, and it's going to tell you, I won't say any food you want, but there are a lot of foods in there. It's going to tell you how many calories are in those foods. It's going to give you a breakdown if there's fats or sodium or extra sugars in those foods. And you'll be able to see kind of the nutritional value of those foods. And there's a lot in there. Um, my plan, you can, you can do your own plan there, or you can do sample. This is a sample meal plan that it has. Um, right here, meal plan A, B, or C. So it's telling you for breakfast, you need one ounce of greens, half cup fruit, and half cup dairy. Or, and it has some varieties. So you can add the proteins or different things to your meal plan. So it gives you an idea that you can plug those in. Um, when you come here, it has a food tracker. You can actually save your own recipes if you want. You can track your physical activity if you're interested. And then it will give you give you a report out on what you've done. Um, what we're going to do here, let's see, there's another place I want to show you right here. Um, there's also a weight manager guide. You can go in here and enter your weight and say, okay, in six months I want to be at this weight. And it will tell you how many calories you need and I um, can't remember everything about it, but it can help you track your progress that way. You can also set goals. And, and then follow that along, and it can give you some support. So if you want to be accountable, then use something like this. So once you get in here and you log in, you want to, to go to, my, to the food tracker. Okay. And you can see right here at the top, it tells you the day. Um, this is mine, so it has a goal of 180 minutes per week of exercise. So that's 30 minutes, six days a week. That's what we're looking for. And then it gives me a daily calorie limit. Now, I don't really suggest you limiting calories. You need to watch calories, but I don't suggest you limiting because a lot of people go overboard with that and they limit too much. And then their body starts to, to go into survival mode and you'll actually probably gain weight or at least fat. Um, it also shows you, this is my favorite part, this is why I like this one, the daily food group targets. So right here, if I had a piece of toast, it's going to tell me, okay, I've eaten 25% of my grains for the day. Or how many vegetables and fruits and how many proteins. Underneath that, this is, this is the naughty list, I think. It tells me how many calories I've eaten and am I to my limit or have I gone past my limit. And then it tells me my added sugars. So it's giving us 40 grams of sugar that we can eat a day. It's also giving us 18 grams of saturated fat and 2,300 milligrams of sodium. That much? And we think that might be a little high, but this is supposed to be in line with my plate. So we are researching that a little closer because that's quite a bit of sodium. But you'll be surprised how much sodium you eat. Oh, yeah. If you eat everything. It's processed disgusting. foods, you're eating sodium all the time. So basically what I want to do to track my food, I'm going to go up here and I can go over here and I can say, okay, I want to track beverages. And then I can type my food in here. So, you, oh, that's not how you spell water. Um, you can actually track your water here and it has more than just water, but you can track your water here. Um, if you don't want to, I can go here. I just tell you, I just, uh, look what I just had. It wasn't a Big Mac. Okay, but it was a cheeseburger. Um, so I can pull that up and I can say, okay, 
I'm going to add that to my list. I'm going to look it up. Here it is. I had this for lunch, and I'm going to add it. Once I do not I, have the time in my life to to even open my computer. We're going to try and give you some hints to help you with that. You can get on your phone. You know, same thing. Okay, so just that one, <laughs> like a, that that like double cheeseburger. I've eaten almost 75%, 70% of my grains for the day. It assumes I had vegetables on it, which I didn't. Um, <laughs> dairy, because there was cheese on it, right? And then the protein. So there's my meat. I just ate 585 calories. For That's just one cheeseburger. And then look down here. So 8 grams of sugar, 11 grams of saturated fat, and then half of my sodium about. And, and that's not even a meal. That was just... Why was that? So much don't get fresh sodium. One. Cheese and yeah, bread. So. bread. Yeah, it's processed. Um, if I want to go in... What about the subway? Is subway on there? <laughs> um, I, subway. It's, on that's all we have a subway, is it? <laughs> let's see. Let's, yeah, because that's subway... I wonder if it will bring up anything. Oh, well, if you spell it right, it might. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah oh, is. yeah. Cold cut. Right there. there we go. Okay, let's try cold cut, shall we? Cut club thing. There we are. Let's see. I just had one, right? Maybe I had that for dinner. Is that a six inch or a 12? You know, I don't know. I don't know what it said, <laughs> but. Holy cow, there's your meal for the day. There you it go. It was six inch though. <laughs> it was a cold cut of just vegetables. Okay, so I'm at my target for my grains oh, and my proteins, but I haven't had any fruit today. And my dairy is really low. Do you have to have fruit? This is what it's <laughs> telling you is that one and a half cups of fruit is your recommendation for the day. Okay. So but can you see how to, you can put this in? Well, and let's smoothie. put in a smoothie. A smoothie. Yeah. Like a smoothie. I can go to all foods or I can go to fruit. And I can put in an orange and let's see what that does to our fruit intake. It's not as bad as it sounds. Maybe I had a medium orange for breakfast. That's what I've been having in the morning. And here I am. I'm almost at 50% of my fruit. I don't want to just drink So it's for not just an orange? For just an orange. Oh, yeah. So it's not huge. But can you see how you can take this and kind of just evaluate what you are eating? And then look right down here. I'm over my sodium limit. And 2300 was a lot. Yeah. So I'm yeah. way past it because I had all those processed foods. From your sandwich and it's your my burger. Oh, you had your burger still on there? Yeah, it's still on there. And I'm already at 1192 and I only can go to 1600. So I can't just eat. I can't eat very much. I can't eat very much if that's what I'm choosing to eat. So um, there are a few that don't have calories, but, but not too many. Celery and water. water. Celery and water. Okay, so you can see how that works, right? If you don't work it out. Yeah. And if you work it out. But Cindy, to answer Renee's concern, as long as we are just tracking our food, rather if it's here, we're with a paper and pencil, you just want us to track it. Yes. We're just documenting. So we can write it. And if you can't do this and write it down, there are a couple of things because I'm not going to sit by because I eat my burger in the car, right? I can't put it on my. What? I can't use my phone and you ate your burger in the car. <laughs> I know. It's bad. Oh, that's funny. It is crazy. Okay. Well, not using the phone in the car. So here, so so here are some options. I figured it out. Um, throughout the day, like Jamie was saying. Just jot down what you've eaten, and then at the end of the day, sit down at your computer and take 15 minutes. And you're going to see me do this in just a minute. Can we to put every tomorrow, next Monday. Oh, good. It's just next Monday. Next week, I mean. Or we have all this technology. We have all this technology, right? We should use it. So fill up your plate. 
take a picture. At the end of the day, pull up your picture and, and put your food down. Nice. Some of I those apps. <laughs> some of those apps, but see, if you have to track it, you'll quit eating like that. Some of the apps you can actually, let's say you're making a box of macaroni and cheese, you can scan it and it will actually yeah. automatically put it input in. that kind of oh, stuff that's kind of cool. on some of the apps. So, so anyways, there's different ways to do it. And like I say, it's only a week and it's for you to analyze what you're eating. Okay? So what we're going to do right now. Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. So you guys are going to make a menu. And while Kaylee's talking to you, I'm going to put it in here, and you're going to see how we did. Okay? So, you two are breakfast. And this is maybe something you would eat on a typical day or a normal breakfast that you would have. Okay, yes. You and Michelle do lunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We think All right, you guys are doing dinner. And try to be realistic. Dinner. Mm -hmm. And you That's why I came to this class. We're drawing a plate of food. Yeah, what would you eat during a typical day? Seven almonds. Seven almonds. Seven almonds. Seven almonds. Seven almonds. Seven almonds. So dinner. For dinner? 